Hey comic book fans, your pal David here giving you guys another edition of the Comic Fix. Now this is a special edition where I'm going to be looking at some of the books that are not the most successful books in DC Comics that are good that you should be reading. Now with the cancellations of some books for the third wave of DC Comics like Captain Adam, Justice League International, Voodoo, and Resurrection Man, if you have any of those books and you're wondering what should I replace it with? Well, in this book, or in this video, books that are going to be canceled out of this whole thing are books like Swamp Thing, Animal Man, uh, Justice League, um, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Batman, any of the Batman family titles because those are all doing really well. These are the titles that are really good, but no one's really reading them. So, with that being said, my first one I'm going to be showing you guys is a little book called I Vampire. Now, if you're worried about going into a title that you think, oh, I really don't like vampires nowadays, they all sparkle, well, know that these ones do not. It's a really cool story, and it's really integrated really well into the DC Universe. And seeing how superheroes have come out, and they're thriving, and everyone loves them. The vampires have been here for many more years than the superheroes. And they're looking at them saying, why can they come out and we can't? So they're out to start a revolution. And oh my god, is it just an awesome, awesome title. And I just love all the tones in this book. The artwork is just gorgeous as hell. The writing is really well done. And it's just a really cool vampire comic. So if you haven't been picking it up, Try out I Vampire. It's a really good story. And I know that the trade's out there for like 15 bucks. So you get the first like seven issues for $15. And it's really, really cool. So the one I suggest you guys pick up is I Vampire. Another one is The Ravengers. The Ravengers. So if you've been reading the Teen Titans, you know that the cooling event happened about, oh, three, four months ago. And it was just a god-awful event. But out of it came the Ravengers. I did not want to give the Ravengers a try. Just for how much I hated the cooling event as itself. But I picked up the first issue. I enjoyed it. It's about these teens who... Two of them are Ravengers. And the other ones were just teens that were affected by what the Ravengers were doing. And they're all trying to escape from the Ravengers. And so they're all running away from them, and the Ravengers are not far behind. And you just love these characters a little bit more, a little bit more with each and every issue. And I just do not know where the story's going to go. It's a really cool, like, teen book that is even better than the Teen Titans. And I just love all the characters that they are putting in this book. So, if you're not reading this book, this is one book I would suggest you guys do so, is The Ravengers. Next up is Frankenstein, Agent of Shade. Now with Frankenstein, Agent of Shade, Jeff Lemire was originally on this it, on this book for about, uh, I would say, nine issues. And with those nine issues, he really built the ground, the foundation for this series. Then he left to go do Justice League Dark, and he's doing a really good job with that, building up the foundation again with the series. And he left it off to a guy named Matt Kindit. And Matt, he started out the series like he was really hesitant, it felt like. He didn't want to do anything, you know, really epic. I hate that word, epic. I've been saying that a lot. He hasn't, he hasn't said, done anything that would change everything in um, Frankenstein for a long time to come. He's been really timid. Well, he's really starting to get a hold of the series. and really starting to do some really cool things. And the series is going to be coinciding with Rot World that's happening and the side that Frankenstein's picking that uh, chose is really cool and I cannot wait to see where it's going to be going. So if you haven't thought about picking up Frankenstein, Agent of Shade, I would suggest you do so, especially with all these books being cancelled. And two more books left that I suggest you guys go and try to pick up. Another one is Supergirl. Now with Supergirl, it's about Supergirl coming down to Earth and she doesn't know what where she is, she does not speak the language, everything is just so alien to her. But she faces off against Superman, she finds out she's even more powerful than Superman is. Why is that? Well, you figure out all that in this book. 
But the great thing is, is just seeing this character that's so relatable, that's put on a situation that she just doesn't know how to handle. But through her own will, she starts to handle it and starts to put the pieces together. This is a series that has ran by two people of the two Mikes, Mike Green and Mike Johnson. They're doing a really good job with the whole um, Supergirl story arc that they're telling. And it seems like it's going to be a story arc that's going to be up for a long time to come. So if I was you guys, I would not. you could just pick up from the Zero issue that's going to be coming out next month. And enjoy the ride that these two Mikes are putting us on. And finally, Blue Beetle issue number 12. Well, not Blue, just Blue Blue, yeah, just Blue Beetle. And with Blue Beetle, as I've been saying in a lot of my reviews, this series feels like Marvel's Spider-Man series. It's just a fun, fun comic, and knows it's a comic. It just has fun with it. And the situations that Blue Beetle is put into are really fun. And Blue Beetle... He really wants to figure out how to become a superhero. He's been, he went to New York because he thought, oh, hey, that's where all the superheroes are. And he's got a little trouble, and he's trying to get help and trying to figure out how to become a superhero. Some cool little um, people come in here, like Booster Gold, um, Kyle Rayner, and I don't know who the next co-star will be with this book, but this is a series that's lots of fun. And if you're just like a, if you have like a little kid and they want to read a really cool comic that's really fun and not too deep and not too um, adult, this is a way to go. So with that being said, those are the titles that I suggest everyone to go and pick up that are not doing as well, but they're just putting out some good content. And with books like Catch and Adam being canceled. And um, Voodoo, which Voodoo is an awesome series, and I'm really disappointed that's being canceled. Also, Justice League International, which Justice League International, I'm, I don't know why it's being canceled, but I don't know. I'm really sad to see that those two books in particular going away. But those are the series that I suggest that you guys go and pick up. This is my name is David. This is the Comic Fix, and I'll see you guys on another review show. See ya.